Hi there, Joey from dayjobhacks.com. Today I'm gonna to talk about the three biggest mistakes CPA affiliates are making with sweepstakes style offers. And I'm gonna tell you about a free case study you can get access to showing a paid traffic case study, all the ads, the landing pages, the optimization strategies, and everything you need to know about running sweepstakes right after this. Okay, so I've seen a ton of training online around sweepstakes style affiliate offers. If you don't know what that is, it's basically your email submit style offers. You see them on most CPA affiliate networks. They pay out roughly $150 to $4 sometimes for an email submit. Now, in most cases, let's just be clear, you're not getting paid for an email submit. You're getting paid once the user goes through a certain amount of steps in the back end of these offers, okay? So for example, these offers generally offer something like a free iPhone or a free drone or a free Amazon gift card, whatever it is, your traffic arrives on the page, they enter their email, and then they answer a bunch of questions and then they have to register at which point they also have to take part in another offer before they ever get close to the freebie that you're offering on the front page. So these offers, generally speaking, are, are you know ranged in different payouts and are not always single opt-in. Now, sometimes you can find direct advertisers who will pay you for the email itself, but it's going to be a significantly lower payout and oftentimes it requires very high quality traffic. So here's where the mistakes begin to happen. First mistake is people think it's easy, okay? This is very common, especially with new affiliates. They come in and they see email submit and they think, wow, I'm gonna get paid to get somebody to enter an email. Sounds great, sounds easy, I'm gonna do that, okay? You start doing it and you realize it doesn't convert after the email submit. Secondly, the quality of your traffic is not good because of the user intent. It does require marketing skills. It requires you to become good at speaking to people, not just trying to be shady and getting people to enter an email into a form. You actually have to tell them about the offer, what it is and how it works. Obviously, there are affiliates out there doing extremely well running these offers with landing pages that have little spinny wheels or little fake surveys, all of that kind of stuff. Again, requires very in-depth skills. As an affiliate marketer, you're not going to be able to make this work as a newbie by direct linking or anything like that, okay? Mistake number two. People think that they can just buy ads on any media platform or any ad platform and this is gonna work for them. Um, basically, what's gonna happen is you're going to get banned on most places like Facebook and Google especially, okay? These offers are considered a little bit um, misleading, we'll say. You're, you're, you're basically offering somebody access to a free iPhone or they can win an iPhone, but in most cases, they have to again go through a bunch of hoops before you're ever going to get access to this offer. This makes people upset, it makes them angry, it makes them complain, and any kind of complaints, especially on Facebook, is going to result in an immediate ban. I've done a complete video on this, on how not to get banned on Facebook. I'll pop that up so you can get access to it, okay? Now, at this point, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Make sure you like it. I talk about media buying, all of this stuff, affiliate marketing, all of the great stuff about making money online. Please subscribe and let's go into number three now. Running push ads is one of the strategies that I'm seeing pushed around, we'll say, all over the internet. It's on YouTube, it's in guru courses, it's on Facebook groups. Everyone's talking about running sweepstakes on push ads and you're going to find out that it's actually not as easy as everyone makes it sound okay there is a lot of effort involved in doing this there are so many steps you need to take for example first of all you need a landing page that engages users and this isn't very easy for most people okay most of the landing pages require very in-depth coding skills to make it look like a real survey or to make it look like a real game, whatever it is, it has to capture your audience. Secondly, you have to make sure that you have a direct advertiser connection, meaning you're not going directly through a network, then to the advertiser. I highly recommend you have a direct advertiser, meaning you're gonna actually be communicating with the people that own the offers. Okay, this is very important because now, once you start running native and push ads, the quality is going to be bad on many, many placements. If you start testing and running through a network, very bad quality traffic, or you don't have a very good relationship with these people, they are going to take you off the offer, they probably won't pay you, and your whole sweepstakes business 
is going to be gone. Okay. Um, so make sure that you have a, a good relationship before you start running these ad platforms to your lead generation forms. And this is particularly why I don't run lead offers on native ads and push ads. Generally speaking, I'm always running credit card submit types of affiliate offers where I'm actually selling a product. Um, another thing you're going to find with push ads is that the placements are going to be extremely competitive. If you don't have a spy tool or you don't have a way of tracking and, and analyzing your data, then you're actually going to have a very hard time finding really good placements. When you do find a placement, it's going to be very difficult to scale it because everyone else is already going to know that placement exists. There are a ton of affiliates and marketers flocking to these platforms and taking up all the great placements. So you're going to be constantly fighting and battling to find the best placements. So those are some of the big things that you need to consider if you're going to be running sweepstakes. Now, if you want to see a actual case study showing this more in depth, the actual ads, the landing pages, the optimization strategies, all the things that you're going to have to consider if you're going to go down this path of running paid ads to sweepstakes style offers, then check the description down below. There will be a link to a free case study, absolutely free. And you're going to see exactly what I'm talking about, that this is not as easy as you might think everything you need to know about running a sweepstakes style offer. Hopefully you enjoy that. If you have any comments or questions or anything you want to comment below, please do. I respond to all of them and hopefully uh, I'll see you next week uh, because you subscribed to my channel.